he don't know if it was true or not. Enough rumors for me is enough for me to say, no, you better go sing in the bathroom and record on your phone or something because you're not going with R. Kelly. And secondly, how are you letting your kids go with this man? He, he, he's not even a manager. So was it more for you or was it more for the child? So I'm going to leave it right there and let, and let Shanice elaborate on what she thought about the documentary. Um, what I was most concerned with was the aftermath. Um, after all these, the, the series of documents came out and everyone's either had seen them or talked about it, his, his, he got more famous. Not that he wasn't already famous, but he, um, why are his, why are his songs getting more plays why why is he trending so much why is he making more money when he should be getting pulled from well in my opinion um from the radio stations i i i found it weird i found it weird that he got more popular and and now things are kind of kind of simmering down because i think people were really outraged about the fact that he was getting more popular and the fact that he was getting more plays um but for, for a minute, for like a week or two weeks, he was on um, at the club talking about, I don't care what's going on and carrying on with life, happy as he want to be. And his songs are getting spins, which is making him money. And I was just like, D what happened? Did they miss the, did they actually get, they were trying to say on Surviving R. Kelly? Or um, what, what did, what did we miss? I didn't miss it, but somebody missed it. Well, my thing is, it's not about it's not about what we miss. It's about morals because you 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 take you think about it this way. If the people that didn't even have, uh, thank you so much for coming in, Shelly. Hey, Tika, uh, you have my number. I'll inbox you my number, and I can speak with you off of this platform. Hey, Jamal, thank you for joining us. Um, my thing is when you know that something is going on that is morally wrong, you don't support the person. And, and so many people give so much effort and so much respect to the individual mm -hmm. and they don't take away from the actual, um, Thing that they represent so if you represent something bad why would you have why would your followers increase not unless mm -hmm. that's in you or not unless you just don't care you just care about the music and not the the victims and even if you didn't think that they were victims, see this is right see this topic is gonna make me break down and cry and i really don't want to be crying on social media but i i'm i guys I am, th hey Kenya, thank you for coming in to Michelle. Thank you for coming in. Sabrina, hi, thank you for coming in. My thing is this, sitting there, laying there in my robe, in my thermal robe, trying to watch this documentary about these, these parents. Now this, you had, you had parents that were like two parent household, not saying that a single mother would do something wrong if R. Kelly said, I need to go get discover your daughter but you got two two family household allowing your child to go with someone that is abusing girls and abusing them at an age where they were mature into an age where you can't do nothing about it so again let me go back i'm laying there in my bed with my thermal robe on thinking about my girls and the thought of someone manipulating my child to the point where I cannot see my child, I would blow something up. Like you would not be able to go to any concerts. You would not be able to do any record sales. It would be very, very bad. Now, this is me. I, I you know, I'm little old me. Little, you know, I'm a single mother. Little old me. My kids want to go and sing. Baby, you better go and sing in the church or you better go and sing in the uh, county fair or talent show or something. You are not going to sing with R. Kelly. If the allegations are false, okay, 
let's take into that account. If they are false, you still allow your child to go with someone that has a record of manipulation and victimizing girls from the age of 14. Now, I wasn't there. I don't know what's true or what's not to be true. But all those people can't tell that many lies. That's just like, okay, let's take this out. Let, let's, let's put this in layman's term. Everybody that's probably in the, on this platform is very upset with the president. Are y'all going to go to, to the White House and sit with the president and have a conversation and say, high five. And I, you know, I like what you did trying to do with the wall and all this stuff. Or are you so upset with him because you morally is, dis are discuss is disgusted with him that you don't want to have nothing to do with him? That's the same thing. Now, you got this man that just because he can write some songs and he can get y'all to step in the name of love, you're going to send your kids. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really disgusted. I'm sorry. Hey, Tiff, thank you for coming in. Hill, thank you for coming in. Frida, happy Friday, guys. Um, let, let me see, because Shanice supposed to be doing this, but I'm going to... Well, we were supposed to be in the topic. I know, so I'm I sorry. Wanna... Kenya said, based on what I heard, people went back and purchased his music because they sent... He sent and described everything he was doing in the lyrics. It doesn't make sense to me. Girl. Now, see, um, what I wanted to say, I didn't want to cut you off, but what people are doing right now is trying to separate R. Kelly, the person, from R. Kelly, the artist. But everything that he was saying in his songs is a clear representation of who he is as a person. He was saying what he meant the entire time. We just we just wanted to hear, we wanted to hear. You just dance into it, yeah. Like to be like music and we just ignored it. And even after hearing what he was doing, because it's not, this is not new stuff. This is not, this is not new at all. Surviving R. Kelly is just everyone putting it all together and uh, so you guys can watch it. But this has been already out. So why are we trying to excuse, um, why are we trying to excuse him so we can still listen to his music? That they're, they're the same. They're one and the same. I don't, well, that's just like, what? It. I'm sorry. It's it's almost like a person that is not religious listening to a gospel song. Like people follow what feels good to them. And 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 you know, for you to do for you to do something just because it feels good to you but it's morally in oh, you it's morally wrong and you still going to support someone that you know is just has bad character. You can't Sorry, some, feel some, some type of way about him dating and whatever else minors and jam to AJ nothing but a number. You can't separate the two. He's actually saying exactly what we're seeing right now. He already said it. He's proud of it. We're just now catching on. And now we're being outraged. But it's not like he just, just now announced it. And he still is unbothered. Have you seen the video about him in the club? I don't care no, what's going on. No, no, I have not, and don't I don't want to see it after after I um hey the greatest after I finish talking about this um I don't want to see nothing else. Like I I just gave him more power. I'm giving him more power right now talking about this, but I'm also giving the 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 girls and their mothers um even if they listen to this little small podcast. Um, my perspective on what I thought, what I think should have happened. Because again, if my daughter, Shanice, or Sade or Sky or either one of them, um, Shanice can sing. But if R. Kelly knocked on my door and said, you know, I, I feel like I can take your daughter to the next level, I will punch R. Kelly in the face. Because I've already heard what he's done to other people's daughter. You mean to tell me just because it's R. Kelly, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, girl. And you get on the And I know the parents had to get on the phone and say, "My yeah, yeah, girl, um, she she went out of town because he's going to help her make it to the next level and da-da-da-da-da. Mm. No. You ain't, you, you got to be very naive or or something you know not i didn't want to get in any way give him the benefit of the doubt that's not my point but my question was was he overt with it was he was he just like yeah let me take your 14 year old daughter 
uh, somewhere else? Or was he saying, you know, this is where we're going to take her? Did he trick them or did he say specifically, I'm just going to take him to my house? And they let him go. Or no. did he say, we're going to go to this recording studio for a weekend? No. And then- he, he said in the documentary, based on what one of the mothers, one of the parents said, that they were be all, they were all, no, let me take that back. The parents said the only way that, my, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong. The parents said the only way that my child could go with you or to, for you to um, help her get to the next level or help her get discovered is if she's always supervised, either I would have to be present, her father or her sister, or an, another guardian. Who in the heck give guardianship to some people they don't even know? That's the first thing. Hey, Jerry, I don't understand that. Like, how do you get... That's almost like giving your child away. You had this child to six... The, the, one of the girls was 17 years old. R. Kelly knows what he's doing because he says, let me groom and train you until you're 18. I'm going to shut you off from your parents and we, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to train you. And by the time, by the time your parents get to want to say that yeah, they need you to come back, you 18. And so you can refuse to go back. Oh my God. By then you so brainwashed. Yeah, they're brainwashed and they're so broken. They feel like they, they won't be accepted if they go back and the stuff. Oh, I'm telling y'all, if y'all see me break down and cry, just it, just know that it, that was very, I, I did not want to watch that. I really did not. And Shanice, I blame you for telling me to watch it. Well, I needed you to watch it. I, and Denise, I couldn't bring myself to watch it. Denise, uh, I'm sorry, D-Night said they, they wanted fame. They didn't care. They were driven by money. That's what I was thinking. And I agree with you, D-Nice, because first of all, you, 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 the, the 17 year old shouldn't have even been, that's not even her era of music. That's the parents era of music, according to what they were saying. So how in the world that you get so excited that it was R. Kelly that you let your daughter go? Hey, Reba. Um, Big L. Hey, Big L. Thank you for coming in. Uh, let's see. Let, let, let me, let me just collect myself because I'm getting ready to just, oof. Uh, Dean, I said, we're not, we're just not catching on the platform in the areas to get justice for sexual offenses. Yes. And that is why I am using this platform because there is a, there is a lot of girls, women, boys, and men that are getting exploited in some sort of way. This is not all about women and girls. This is about, um, People in general, I mean, sex trafficking and sexual sex ex- exploitation and all of this stuff needs to be voiced because these people feel like if if they say something, not when it happened, but say something later on, it's not going to be. It's not going to be, um, you know, it's not going to be accepted or it's going to be it, it, people are going to be so opinionated. They're not they're not going to believe what they're saying and and victim have a voice and it doesn't matter when it happened, it doesn't have an expiration date. If you're not, if you, if you don't speak up and you're not healed, it's just going to continue to brew inside of you. And then, you, you know, that's, that's where you have all type of snowball things that come about. Mm-hmm. Hey, Juwan, thank you for joining us. Um, hold on. Togo said something. I want to see what he said. Pam, this show corrupts your spirit. I, I know. All right, let's move on to the next one. You wanted to talk about what happened in Atlanta with the um, with the lady at the nightclub? I know you were the one who told me about that. Um, I know, and I was hoping that you didn't bring that up. Okay, so we're gonna move on from Mark Kelly. Hey, hey, Juwan, I am great. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, Yana. Um, we're gonna talk about this thing that happened in and read this while I'm getting my thoughts. This thing that happened in Atlanta. Now this is close to home. I'm I'm an Atlanta native, really from Atlanta. Like I was born here. This is not, um, I didn't just drop here. I was really born here. So um, I have someone in my Facebook friends that says Atlanta we full, and I understand because there's a lot of people here that's not from here, but they say they're from Atlanta. I'm really from Atlanta. Okay. That being said, this young lady was trying to celebrate her birthday in Atlanta in a club. That I've actually gone to only one time, but I've gone to this club. What club was this? This well, club opera. Oh. And she went to this oh. club to celebrate her birthday. 
And um what are you doing to opera? If you cut me off one more time, I haven't even been to opera. Even I won't go to opera. 